Sunglasses, Fly Girl Magazine, Fruit Cocktail. Everything I need to hang out poolside. Basking in the sun, this is the life. Bienvenue. Bienvenida. Juan Yin. Good afternoon. Oh, here comes another tour group. Young humans are so cute. Now, let's take a look at the parts of a butterfly. Sky, can you help us out with this tour? Absolutely. Come on, right this way. This is Sky. She's a blue morpho butterfly. Butterflies don't have skeletons like you and me. They have something called an exoskeleton. It's a hard outer shell, kind of like armor, on the outside of my body. It keeps me safe. Sky, like all butterflies, has three body segments. You can see she has a head, a thorax or chest, and an abdomen. The thorax is the middle part of the body, and the abdomen is the back part of her body. On Skye's head, you can see she has a pair of eyes and antenna. Not eyes like you humans have. I have special eyes, called compound eyes. I have thousands of tiny lenses that help me see in all directions and recognize color, pattern, and movement. That's right. Skye can see nearly 360 degrees around her. So she can be looking at a flower ahead of her while making sure no one sneaks up behind her. And I use my antenna to smell the air and know the direction I'm going in. And that's why they are sometimes called feelers. How do butterflies breathe? Butterflies have tiny holes in their thorax called spiracles. They breathe through these holes. Skye has four wings attached to her thorax, two on each side of her body. The front wings are larger than the back wings. What makes her blue and another butterfly orange? Well, Skye's wings are covered in thousands of tiny scales. They're sort of like shingles on a roof. Each scale is a different color, and the scales give the wings their color patterns. So butterfly wings aren't just beautiful. They also help us identify a particular kind of butterfly. And just like a bird needs feathers to fly, I need scales to fly. That's why if you've touched the butterfly's wings and seen the sparkly specks that rub off on your fingers, you may have hurt the butterfly. Butterflies need their scales to fly. Also attached to Skye's thorax are six jointed legs. Some butterflies have legs all the same size, but some, like Skye, have four normal sized legs and the two legs folded up by the thorax are tiny. I also use my feet to taste. Anytime I land on something and stand on it, I can taste it. That's why you'll see us butterflies hanging out on fruit and flowers. They are delicious. But butterflies don't eat. They only drink from this little tube called a proboscis. It's long and flexible, sort of like a straw. Skye uncoils it to sip nectar and then coils it back up until she's hungry again. Have fun on the rest of your tour. Remember to be kind to butterflies. If one lands on you, take it for a ride. Bye, Sky.